Hello people, I'm going to show you how to get the Homebrew Channel via Banner Bomb for the week. First, you're going to need at most a 2 gig SD card and like an SD card reader or something along those lines and the websites I gave you in the link. So first, you're going to put your SD card in. And then wait for it to come up. Sorry, I'm doing this on a Mac. So for PC people, it might look different. Okay, so you're going to open your SD card, and it's going to be empty. Now, you're going to want to go to the links in the description. First, bootme.org. Click Hack Me Installer version 0 0.2, and it'll download it. Continue. Now you're going to want to... No. Now you're going to want to do it for the other website, Bannerbomb. Now you want to click on this. Continue. And you want to, you're going to want to put both of them into your SD card. Well, copy them onto your SD card. So now that both on your SD card, you want to go into the Hack Me Installer file, and you'll see installer.elf. Now what you're going to want to do with that is rename it to boot.elf, and then you're going to want to copy it to the root of your SD card. File. Paste. Okay. So now you're pretty much done at the computer. It's an easy process. Then you're going to want to take the SD card out of your I mean, out of the computer. Now you're going to want to go into your Wii and put the SD card in and make sure that your Wii Connect 24 is turned in the off position. Then you're going to want to turn on the Wii. I've done this before, so don't worry. It'll be kind of blurry here. Okay. Now you're going to go to want to go to the Wii options at the bottom left corner of your TV. Then click Data Management, Channels, and you want to go to the SD card section. And this should pop up. Okay? That means it works. You want to click Yes. And it'll look like it's loading. Then the next part will take a little while. But once it's done, it should say, click the one button. So let's just wait for that. Press one to continue. Okay, so it should say, Homebrew Channel can be installed, DVDX can be installed, and Boot Me can be installed. You want to press A on continue. You want to use the D-pad on your Wii Remote to go up to install the Homebrew Channel. Click the A button and go up one and say Yes, Continue. So it's loading. Successfully downloaded. And you want to go down to Exit. And then you'll load the Homebrew Channel. And then it should look somewhat like that when you first get it. Now this is what you look like when you download apps. Wait, no, that's right. I don't have apps on this because I had to get rid of everything on my SD card. But it'll look like little options. And then when you go to the Wii menu, you will see it there as a channel. Thank you for watching. If you need any help, just leave a comment or send me a message. It's pretty simple. 
people. I mean, it's not that hard. An eight-year-old could do it. 